Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry it's been a minute. I feel like I haven't filmed for ages. Today's haul is an autumn or well, summer autumn transition haul. So autumn is my favourite season of all. It's my birthday in autumn and I tend to plan a lot of like city breaks in this time. So I have lots of exciting trips planned for the next couple of months and with that obviously comes planning lots of new and interesting outfits. As you all know I'm obsessed with neutrals and that doesn't change in autumn. I just love neutral colours. I tend to move more into like khakis, creams, richer browns. They're my sort of favourites. Um, so there's a lot of muted neutral tones, but there are a few crazy prints in there. Now, just to pre-warn you, this video is going to be split into a part one and a part two. I did a lot of shopping, so I did have to separate the videos. It was a toss up between doing one like 40, 50 minute long video or two like 20 to 25 minute videos. I didn't just want to bombard you with clothes and you to all turn off. So the video, will be separated into two. With that in mind, please don't forget to ring the little notifications bell when you subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get a notification when part two goes live as well. So I'm aiming for that in the next few days. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also leave me a comment. I love, love, love reading through them all. I've also left my Instagram handle on the screen here and I've also left it in the description box down below. So be sure to go and follow me on there for even more autumn inspiration. As always, I've linked everything in the description box down below as well as my sizes. Um, if things are sold out, I will also link an alternative if I can find something. Fingers crossed nothing will be sold out as it's all pretty new but if anything is I'm super sorry but anyway enough rambling if you'd like to see what I bought then please keep watching so I'm starting off today's haul with a pair of Topshop jeans so these are blue mom jeans but these have got the enormous rips on the knees so it's got like thigh rips and then it's also got like this right angled flap there's no other word to describe it. They're pretty heavily distressed jeans. These are the exact same cut as my regular mom jeans, but obviously mine aren't distressed. But I love the color of these, I love the cut. I decided to go a couple of sizes up in these because my other mom jeans, which are my true sizing, they're very, very tight on the leg. Whereas I want a baggy leg and a tight waist, so I'm intending to get these altered. That's something I really recommend in mom jeans because quite often the leg is too tight, but the waist is perfect. You have to have a toss up between the two and it's easier to take away fabric than it is to add it. So mom jeans are one of my absolute wardrobe staples, whether it's summer, autumn, winter, spring, whatever it may be, I find them a super versatile wardrobe piece. So I like to wear my mom jeans with everything from like lacy bralettes, which is how I styled this pair. So lacy bralettes, bodysuits, long sleeve tops, you can even throw like your statement jackets over the top, so leather jackets, bomber jackets, you can even have like an evening coat. They're perfect for evenings out with a nice pair of heels or just rolled up and baggy with trainers. I think they're one of the most essential pieces in a wardrobe. I love the cut and style of Topshop ones, so they are slightly pricier than I would usually pay for just a bog standard pair of jeans, but they are definitely worth it. So just to let you know before it gets extremely chaotic, these are in no particular order, so I'm gonna have brands here, there, and everywhere, but I will link them all down below. So the next item, I actually wore it with my Topshop mom jeans, and it is this lace bralette from ASOS. Now, I'm extremely picky when it comes to lace bralettes and bodysuits. I find that the majority of them look really, really cheap. Um, I don't know whether it's the type of lace they use, the cut that they use, but quite often they skimp on the underwiring and the boning down the side and then they don't actually have like eyelash lace, which is the type that I like. I love the detail on this. I think it's a super sweet little top. I obviously would wear it as a top, but I am quite risque when it comes to bralettes and things like that. I don't mind showing a bit of skin, but this would also be really, really sweet under a white shirt if you want to have like a little bit on show, but not too much. But I paired this lace bralette as a top with a pair of tight, blue jeans and trainers. It's a nice way of keeping it really casual. You can obviously throw like a jacket over the top or a blazer. That's one of my favorite things to do is just add a blazer to every outfit. <laughs> but this would be a really sweet top in the evening as well. So you could pair it with flares or wide leg trousers. You could even have it with a pair of shorts and again, another blazer and a nice pair of heels and it would make a lovely statement. So the next item is again from Topshop and it is this snake print bowling style long sleeve shirt. Um, it's nice, thicker, style of material. I don't know what kind of fabric it is, but it hangs really nice. It's quite nice and structured. And again, the collar is very, very structured. So it is more like a boyfriend 
bowlingy kind of shirt you know kind of like a vintage shirt i bought this in a size six i do wish that i'd gone up a size because i do like that really slouchy fit and especially when it's got like a boyfriend cut i'd want it to be more of a boyfriend size so i definitely recommend sizing up a size if you do go for this shirt um, this has been on my wish list for a really long time. If you do follow me on Instagram, I post um, wish lists every Wednesday and either Sunday or Monday. Um, and this has been featured on there. So I'm so glad that I finally got around to buying it. It is a beautiful snake print. I don't like it when they look too fake or tacky. But this is a lovely soft cream colour. I'm just obsessed with animal print at the moment. First it was leopard print and now everything is starting to become snake print. But I just love it. I just think it's so, so sleek and sophisticated and it adds a nice pattern or colour or texture to an outfit that would otherwise be quite neutral. So I love the fact that it's neutral in colour but it adds a crazy print in there so I love this shirt. I paired this shirt with a black bralette and then a pair of black jeans and loafers. It is a really simple outfit but I love the way that the snake print obviously takes centre stage. I wouldn't want anything too garish but again you could bring out the cream in this and pair it with paler jeans or paler trousers. You could also pair it with pale denim. I think it looks really nice with mom denim um but my friend lily wore this first on instagram and i just took so much inspo from it that i had to steal it too so thanks lily so the next thing that i bought is from h&m and it is this pair of khaki green suit shorts now these are beautiful i love khaki green it's one of my favorites but again in summer it can sometimes seem a bit dark i don't really know why because it looks beautiful with a tan but i love it in autumn i think it really suits my hair and i love just wearing richer earthier tones now shorts are something that are really versatile in autumn but obviously as you move into winter you kind of have to avoid them in england i love pairing shorts with knitwear in the autumn time and then some big chunky boots i think that's a really nice way of doing it where you're showing a bit of skin and you're still enjoying the warmer sun but obviously that wind can be a bit cold in autumn so it's nice to have some knitwear over the top i think khaki looks beautiful with anything from brown to black to cream so i paired these pair of khaki shorts with a black turtleneck top just a nice jersey one you could obviously layer it thicker or you could wear a thicker knit turtleneck if it is a little bit cooler i paired the turtleneck and the shorts with shin high boots I think this would be really nice with a statement belt as well because it does have belt loops um, but these just sit really beautifully they're almost military inspired I know it's the colour but also the cut is really formal and I just think they're really sweet but in the summer you could definitely pair this with a tank top as well so it is a year round item but the next item is actually a pair of shoes and they're from Pretty Little Thing again these have been on my wish list and everybody went mad for them they're these biker lace up buckle boots and they've got these cutouts on the side they are healed and they do also have a pointed toe so I adore these boots anybody who's into fashion in any way shape or form will probably know that these look exactly like the Chloe Riley boots that are so so famous around the world on Instagram on Pinterest everybody seemed to have a pair of these at one point when I saw them I nearly had heart failure because they were only 40 pounds and I think the Chloe Riley boots are over a grand being able to get something so similar for so much cheaper I, I can't help it, I had to get them. Again, I paired these with the khaki shorts, but the, the lace up on them, the buckles on them, all of these little features just remind me so much of the Riley boots and I adore them. They are so, so comfortable, really versatile. I love these with anything from leather leggings all the way through to like gilets and dresses, like knitted dresses. I think these would be really, really versatile for autumn and winter. I just can't wait to wear these with a beret and a nice gilet in Paris. I'm super, super excited. But these are one of my favorite pieces from my entire haul, just because I feel like I've got an absolute bargain for them because they're based on such an iconic and expensive and exclusive shoe. So onto the next item, and again, it's another pair of shoes, this time from H&M. They are these black pointed mules. They are slightly wrinkly. Now these are on sale. They, I think they were under 10 pounds, so I just had to get them. I already have a pair of black loafers. I've got the Givenchy ones, which were obviously quite an investment for me, but they are quite chunky shoes. They've got a big chain over the top of the shoe, and they're also like a, a manly loafer. So these are super, super simple mules. They're just backless pointed flats, basically 
really light and comfortable and I thought these would be nice as a more sophisticated elegant girly shoe instead of the chunky masculine loafer so I'll be wearing these all the time in autumn I just like how pointy they are but yeah I love them they're like a black satin so they have a nice sheen to them but they do wrinkle quite a bit so that's even just from trying them on but they are quite luxe looking I think and they'll just go with absolutely everything so next up is a pair of trousers these are again from H&M these are in like a pale beige camel color in fact they're not camel I would say they're more gray beige and um, they're just like a relaxed fit slouchy trouser like a cigarette trouser um I thought these were pretty on the model I bought a size sixes H&M sizing is very very hit and miss I find that often I need to size up because their stuff is so small. I don't know if anybody else has found this. I usually wear a four in like ASOS, Topshop, um, Zara, I wear like the smallest size you can get, but for some reason H&M stuff is tiny. Um, but on this pair, I wish I had actually bought them true to size. So I would definitely recommend staying true to size or even going down a size in this pair as I do wish I'd bought a four. I styled this with a cream knit and then just a pair of white trainers. I would wear them super, super casually, nice and slouchy. And I rolled them up at the ankle. I don't know if I look like a teacher in them, I'll be honest. They were just a bit mumsy for me, um, which is fine if you're a mum, but I'm not. I'm 22, so I don't know whether I'm just obsessed with having something skin tight on me, but I would have definitely rather had these a lot tighter to the body um, as they were very relaxed. So I'll look for a similar kind of trouser in this lovely colour, but I would much rather have them tighter to the body, a bit tighter at least, as these were just hanging off me so with the pants i just mentioned i did wear this fluffy knit cream jumper this is from new look and i bought it on asos now this is another item that i absolutely adore it's just so so beautiful super snuggly super soft and comfortable and it just hangs beautifully so this i got it in a size small i think it just came in small medium and large but it looks super expensive and i just oh it just feels so soft, you know, knitwear that hasn't been washed yet. Oh, it's just really affordable and soft and snuggly and cozy. And this was the statement in that previous outfit, in my opinion. I love this so much. I can't wait to wear this with leather leggings, with shorts and trainers and a leather jacket over the top. I can't wait to wear this with my long winter coats as well, like puffer jackets and leggings. It's just gonna be one of those jumpers that is reached for all winter. The fact that it's this lovely creamy white color, I don't think it's stark white, I think it's more ivory. Um, I just think it looks really expensive. It's this like fluffy eyelash fabric. Usually if this was from H&M or Zara it would be three or four times more expensive so I'm super impressed by the price point of this. It's just a really sweet cut of jumper. It's like an oversized knit um, but it's just super snuggly, super comfy and the most perfect winter piece so I can't wait to wear this. No matter how simple it is, I'll find myself a white or cream jumper every winter and tell myself that it's the best thing I've ever found. So next up is another piece from H&M and it's this sweet little top bodysuit. Um, it's got underbust ribbing, it looks a bit like a corset top and it's got like cap sleeves that reach just above the elbow. So this is a really flattering cut. It's made out of quite a thick fabric, it's almost like bandage style fabric so it's very sculpting to the body if you have any kind of curves at all it just hugs them and sucks you in nicely so it's really really flattering it made my boobs look fantastic and the underbust detail again just makes your cleavage look really nice it's not too revealing or low cut it cuts you just at the right area i thought it'd be a nice transition piece going from my short sleeve bodysuits into obviously the long sleeve ones that i'll be wearing in winter I do tend to always wear bodysuits instead of tops just because I like everything being tucked in and staying in place. But I paired this bodysuit with a pair of grey jeans and then white trainers. I just love how it sculpts the body. It gives you a really beautiful figure and keeps everything in place. It creates a beautiful silhouette. And like I say, the detail on the front is just really feminine and sweet. I absolutely love it. It's a nice versatile piece. Again, you could pair it with blue mom jeans. I paired it with just a grey simple mid-rise jeans. It doesn't have to be with jeans either. You could wear a lovely skirt with it, like a leather skirt or a tweed skirt, ankle boots. It's another really versatile piece because it's a bodysuit and it's in this lovely neutral ivory colour. It can go with almost anything. So now from ASOS, I bought this pair of black 
cigarette style trousers now these are beautiful and another one of my favorite purchases from the entire haul these are gorgeous they have this double skinny belt with the d-ring buckle oh i just love them so much i bought these in a six because they'd sold out already in a four and i wear everything from asos in a four and these actually fit wonderfully so if your size is sold out because i'm sure these will be popular you can go up a size and it's not too drowning because you've got this belt and you can obviously alter it yourself you can tighten it in at the waist which is exactly what i did to get a more cinched in appearance but these are the perfect length you can really cinch the waist in and just a black cigarette trouser is just a staple in my wardrobe I love the fact that they're so high waisted and you have a little bit of ruching from the waistband as well So I paired these with a pair of simple black belly their heels and then a minimal black bralette top And that's exactly how I would wear them But you could also wear it with like a silk blouse or silk shirt and heels if you wanted to wear it even for work They would be suitable in my opinion um, But yeah, you could definitely pair it with a statement shirt or blouse You could also wear it with like a slinky camisole top. I just think they're really versatile really beautiful Obviously black is a staple of my wardrobe spring through to winter but i love them for autumn um, and you could even dress it down you could definitely throw on a pair of trainers with these i just think they're really comfortable and so so flattering on every figure so don't ask me why but for some reason i thought it was necessary to buy another pair of blue mom jeans i don't know why i'm obsessed with mom jeans i just can't stop buying them i keep buying the same shade i've got a problem i've just bought some blue levi's as well and they're just coming out my ears but these are from asos i do actually love these too they're a very similar color to my top shop mom jeans but they are more affordable these are marketed as like balloon jeans which i don't really know what that means but i think it is that they go out more at the hip so they create an even larger hourglass shape to the bum and the hips while nipping you in a lot of the waist so these are the perfect fit at the waist i got a waist 24 leg 30 which is my standard go-to size but anyway back onto the jeans i do love the cut of these they sit beautifully at the waist they really nip you in whilst like I say, creating a, a wider hip area. So if you want that real beautiful hourglass cut on a pair of jeans and want to maintain a quite a baggy leg, these are definitely the pair for you. They're a beautiful, rich, bright blue, and I always roll the ankle up just a tiny bit. They're nice and structured, so if you do obviously put in quite a defined ankle, they hold their shape, which I know is something that quite a lot of people want to do. They want to replicate that vintagey look, and you don't want something that's like a poor quality denim or a thin denim because it doesn't tend to hold hold its shape very well but these are quite stiff but then again not too stiff that they're uncomfortable to wear again like i said with mom jeans they are the most versatile piece in a wardrobe they're the backbone of my wardrobe year round now i do also still love skinny jeans but these are just so much more relaxed and comfortable I paired these with a simple white camisole and lace up heels and a leather jacket. Again, that's quite a dressy way of wearing mom jeans, but you can also pair it with trainers, loafers, turtleneck tops, any kind of bodysuit. I just think they're beautiful, but I love sticking with block colours like white, black, nude with um, blue denim. I just absolutely love them. Then onto a bit of a random choice. So it's this Misha Lounge lounge set, and this is from ASOS. So it is this jumper and then flared knit trouser set. This is obviously for lounge around the house it's an alternative to pajamas obviously as it get a bit cooler i love wearing knit trousers to the airport as well oh oh my god i have a pair of cashmere joggers and i you couldn't get me out of them last winter i wore them on the flight to new york and it's like wearing a blanket it's just so snuggly and comfortable really really fashionable looking as well i paired it with white trainers when i was going to new york i put a little picture up here and i just love them i got so many compliments so i thought i'd buy a more affordable set as cashmere is very expensive um this is surprisingly soft actually the fabric it looks a little bit basic online but the fabric is super super soft and quite thick and flattering these sit really well on the body they're nice and tight often you can find with knitwear on the bottom that they have fewer sizes and therefore these tend to hang off me and be a bit shapeless and awful but these are a beautiful flare they knit really well in at the knee so they create a nice shape down the thigh they fit your bum and they make your bum look fab plus your bum is super super soft so these are an absolute win for me this also has a hoodie so you could definitely wear this to the airport throw a pair of trainers on it and a leather jacket and you're there 
but yeah this is most likely going to be worn all around the house and get covered in retriever hair and blot but super comfy super snuggly and obviously you can split the sets down so you could wear these as knit trousers and pair it with a nice white blouse or a bodysuit or you could obviously just wear this as a simple hooded top and again wear it with like leather leggings trainers and throw a leather jacket over the top then moving on to my all-time favorite pick of the entire haul and that is this zara coat sorry it's hard to show but it's this lovely long wool coat in this beautiful soft muted creamy beige color it is so soft so comfortable and it goes with absolutely everything so because of the color it's just the most beautiful neutral coat super warm you can roll the sleeves up it's nice and lightweight it's got lovely buttons on the front so it's double breasted and it also has pockets i feel like adding that it's got pockets makes anything better but anyway i love this coat so much i'm so glad i bought it i did buy it in store and it was 119 pounds now this i simply paired it with a white camisole top and then also black suede trousers and loafers but it's beautiful to drape over the shoulders with an all black outfit you could wear it with knitwear and turtlenecks as the weather does get colder still but this coat is an absolute staple if you keep it for year on year you do get your cost per wear down quite a lot so it gets a lot more affordable as years pass I've already had loads and loads and loads of compliments on it but I've already worn this twice on Instagram here's some examples of how I wore it so I know for a fact that a lot of girls are going to be rocking this this autumn and winter again like I said you could layer it over sweaters hoodies jumpers um, nice cream knitwear I think it just looks really really expensive super luxurious and it's really simple you can also alter it by maybe adding a brooch to the collar adding a nice scarf or also rolling up the sleeves and that's another way of wearing it but I just absolutely love this coat and I'm so so glad I bought it and then finally for part one of this video are these suede trousers and these are from H&M so I did pair these with the Zara coat that I just mentioned now I love suede trousers almost as much as I love leather trousers and um, they are a nice alternative to leather trousers and as you know I wear those almost daily again they're super soft they look nice and expensive and luxurious and H&M always do have a good selection now I bought this and they're really nice again at the waist they're a nice cut and tailor they fit really nicely and they have like a piping down the front of the leg so I'm really happy with the top half of these trousers but the only thing I dislike is how wide set the ankle is I wouldn't say I have particularly narrow skinny chickeny ankles and these hang off my legs so I don't know whether to keep these and maybe get the ankle altered as that is quite an easy thing to do or maybe just wait until something tighter comes on the market. I did find a lovely pair of suede trousers from Miss Selfridge as well so I don't know whether they will be tighter fitting so I'll put a link to them also down below if you'd like to check them out too but yeah I might get these tailored as the shape of the waist is so flattering and they do feel really high quality and expensive but it's just a shame about the ankles not fitting quite as tight as I would like them to. So that is every Everything for part one if you wait a couple more days part two will also be live with the second half of this haul like I said I bought a lot of clothes this time around and I wanted to be able to share everything with you so be sure to stay tuned ring the little bell and subscribe to my channel for all of the updates on my next video so thank you guys so much for watching part one of my two-part summer autumn transition haul I do hope that you enjoyed it please let me know down below in the comment section which pieces you like the most so I'll be sure to see you in my next video, which is coming in the next few days. Bye guys.